It's only been a short time since the Golden State Warriors won their fourth title in eight years. But nonetheless, the time for contracts and off-season dealings has begun. One of the biggest questions for the Warriors is whether to offer an extension to rising star Jordan Poole now or to wait a year until his rookie deal is up. Let's see why the Warriors absolutely need to re-sign Jordan Poole as soon as possible, but before that, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for updates on the best NBA content. There are many reasons to re-sign Jordan Poole to a rookie extension, and here we will talk about them one by one. A third Splash Brother Everyone already knows and fears the Splash Brothers, who are also known as the greatest shooting duo in the history of the NBA. Defenses would scramble to contain Steph Curry or Klay Thompson, while the other would be absolutely scorching teams. In comes Jordan Poole, another deadly shooter who clearly learned from Steph to be able to shoot it from anywhere, whether it was a pull-up three, a nasty step back, or a logo three. Besides that, the third-year guard could get hot very easily, which he often did during the regular season as well as the entire playoffs, leaving defenders to just throw their hands up in defeat. His confidence level knows no bounds, and he has also been given the green light from both his coaches and veteran teammates to try different shots without the fear of getting too much lashback. Some may say Poole is mimicking the way Steph and Clay play, but especially Steph. The way Poole plays off the ball, shifting from side to side really forces defenses to keep an eye out for him. With one missed assignment from the opposing defense, any player on the Warriors would often find Poole open for a three or cut to the lane for an easy finish. It became effortless for both Poole and the team. Poole's style of play has also fit in perfectly with Steve Kerr's philosophy of using off-ball screens, backdoor cuts, and misdirection, while also having the luxury of another player besides Steph who can shoot it from 35 feet out with ease. Draymond Green recently praised Poole when he said, When you look at where he's come from, the steps he's taken, he's been thrown into a position that not many guys would handle well. And that's essentially to do your best Steph Curry imitation, Green said. Perhaps the more deserving most improved player. Every year, the NBA likes to highlight a player who has improved the most from the previous season. While it is true that Ja Morant won this year's Most Improved Player, or MIP award, he was a dark horse in the Most Valuable Player award, thus meaning he was on a whole different level. That is why many thought that someone else should have won MIP, with many voters choosing Poole. The previous season, Poole averaged 12 points a game, 1.9 assists per game, and 1.8 rebounds a game. This year, Poole skyrocketed to 18 points a game, 3 assists per game, and 3.4 rebounds a game. His shooting percentages also went up to career highs. This kind of improvement is rarely seen, which is why many wanted Poole to win this award. One of the biggest advocates for Poole was his teammate Draymond Green, who is quoted as saying, The award is called the most improved. Not who had the best year, that's the MVP. A lot of times we get it confused. No disrespect to Ja Morant, but Ja is an MVP candidate. Ja Morant isn't the most improved player. He was incredible last year. When you look around, the most improvement has been Jordan Poole, and that goes without saying. He is the most improved. Many agree with Draymond, especially when it was pointed out that Morant went from a star to still being a star, while Jordan Poole went from a G League player the year prior to one of the best rising players in the NBA. Therefore, many were puzzled why Poole did not even make the finalists list for the award. It didn't phase Poole, though. It is what it is, he replied, when asked about the award. Poole had bigger aspirations in mind, and that was to win an NBA championship, which he accomplished while going through Ja Morant and the Memphis Grizzlies as well. Poole lifts some scoring pressure off of Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. The Warriors dynasty has unfortunately been hit with an injury bug for the past couple of seasons, most notably with Klay Thompson being the injured for basically the last two years. This put a huge load on Steph Curry, with teams often double or even triple teaming him on a nightly basis. This for sure put a strain on Curry to carry the team and caused him more injuries as well. Now having Jordan Poole playing the way he has this season, Poole has become a huge help for Curry and the Warriors. 
Poole quickly became a starter and started 51 of 72 games in the regular season and, most importantly, started in place of Steph Curry in the first round of the playoffs while Curry was on a minutes restriction versus the Denver Nuggets, where he went insane, especially the first three games. Poole scored around 29 points per game while shooting 60% from three-point range and 67% overall. From that point on, the Warriors never had to worry since Poole was so reliable and finished the rest of the playoffs strong. Another positive thing about Poole is the consistency he displayed this season. Poole was healthy most of the season, which is vital to both his growth and the team's trajectory. He was also efficient in his scoring from all three levels of the court, whether it was a step-back three, mid-range pull-up, or a beautiful reverse layup around the defenders. Not only that, but Poole was also top 15 in the league in most three-pointers made this season, which is pretty impressive seeing how there are a lot of other three-point marksmen on his own team. Oftentimes, young players in this league have a lot of ups and downs, but Jordan Poole showed his consistency as well as resiliency throughout the season. It did not matter to him whether he was a starter or coming off the bench. Poole always gave his all. Poole scored around 18 points a night for the season, something Steve Kerr was really proud of when he said, he's become a guy we can count on for scoring and shot creation every night. We're lucky to have JP. He's been phenomenal. Having a young player who is this reliable is something that coaches dream about, and Kerr definitely has a great one available on his roster. Another way to prove Poole's consistency is that Poole is one of three players who have scored 20 or more points in 17 consecutive games in the last 30 years. Not bad for a late-round pick and a former G League player. So, should the Golden State Warriors re-sign Jordan Poole? The answer is a resounding yes. He is the Warriors' most promising rising star, as well as a long-term prospect. He is on a rookie deal at the moment, and with the Warriors deep in the luxury tax, giving him an extension now has the added benefit which is that it would not kick in until after next season. At the same time, the Warriors would not have to worry about another team trying to poach him away. Poole's development has been on a linear growth, and all signs point towards an all-star in the making who is already taking the league by storm. The rest of the league will have to figure out how to contain him, especially with all the Warriors healthy and hungry for even more next season. Therefore, the Warriors should lock down Jordan Poole before worrying about the other players who are out of or nearly out of contracts, such as Andrew Wiggins, Andre Iguodala, Otto Porter Jr., and others. What do you guys think? Do you believe the Warriors need to re-sign Jordan Poole, or should they wait another year before extending him while giving other teams a chance to offer him a deal? Will Poole keep ascending to all-star status, or will he regress? Will Poole make it all interesting by waiting and betting on himself? We'll have to wait and find out, but until then, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more NBA stories from around the league. Now, it's time for an exciting off-season ahead.